So, back in the early 1900s, the world had a serious problem. Crops were struggling, soil was running out of nutrients, and experts were freaking out, saying we were heading towards mass starvation. That's when Fritz Haber showed up with a game changer. He figured out how to pull nitrogen straight out of air. Look, air is about 78% nitrogen, but plants can't just breathe it in like we do. Haber cracked a way to turn it into ammonia, basically making fertilizer out of thin air. His method, which became the Haber Bosch process, feeds around half of the world's population today around 4 billion people. Without it, billions of us wouldn't be even here. It was such a breakthrough that he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1918. Yeah, feeding plants gets you a gold medal in science. But here's where it gets complicated. Hub was so into using science for national pride that he shifted gears during World War I. He started applying his chemical genius to developing tools for warfare. Especially, he was involved in creating and developing the first large-scale use of chlorine gas and later substances like mustard gas. Let's just say, not exactly crops anymore. His wife, Clara Eimer, who was also a scientist, was devastated by his turn. She saw it as a betrayal of science itself. The personal toll, huge and tragic. And here's the twist of fate. Harbour was Jewish. After the war, when Germany's politics took an ugly turn, the very country he devoted his life to serving forced him out. Because of his heritage, despite everything he'd done, he was stripped of his position and fled Germany. He died in exile in 1934, far from home, a man both celebrated and shunned. It's strange, right? The person who helped feed billions also lived with a choice that haunted him forever. History is complicated like that. If you like stories that make you rethink the past, you know what to do.